Sponsors. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Think About It with Joshua Salam. I'm your host. This show is brought to you by PennyAppealUSA.org. They're doing a whole bunch with just a little bit. Thank you for your donations and your help. Don't go anywhere. Got an interesting show lined up for you. We'll be right back with Think About It. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. I am so happy. I mean, I'm more than happy. Words cannot express that you guys are still tuning in to watch this show. Who would have thought that some people would still be watching Think About It uh, this far into Ramadan? So I'm very happy. I still want to keep encouraging you to engage the show. Write something in the comment section, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, email us at info at dean.tv. I don't care if you disagree. I don't care if you're upset with the show, if you, if you like the show, it's just kind of cool to hear from people and, and, and to get some feedback. And don't forget, if you take a phone and you record, your, record yourself saying, hey, you're watching Think About It with Joshua Salam, I'll put that on the show and we'll actually uh, be able to show your, your face and your support. So the, today, I have a young man. He's just 23 years old. He's not married. He's not married. Okay. And uh, <laughs> uh, he is um, a bright young man. And uh, I tell his stories in many khutbah all the time because he took something. Now, now first, let me re refer back to an earlier episode when I was talking about how important it is for you guys, actually not even you guys, for you, how important it is for you to read the Qur'an. You, sitting right there. We need you to read the Qur'an because it is 2018. We are discovering things. We are learning new things. And with that knowledge, more things, more treasures open up in the Qur'an, right? And, uh, and we really need you to engage the scholars and tell them what you're learning, tell them what you're experiencing so that there can be this a two-way street between scholars and students. They need that. They need the, the, the next generation reading the Qur'an. And of course, even before that, reading the Qur'an opens up your heart. Reading the Qur'an softens your heart. It, it, uh, it guides you. It, it encourages you to, uh, to, to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so that's the first purpose in reading the Qur'an. It's a book of guidance. You know? and, and for those who read the Qur'an and they feel like, like one person I, I was talking to, they said, you know, I read the Qur'an and I just hear so much like fire and brimstone, fire and brimstone stuff. And, and it was actually kind of pushing them away. If that's what you're experiencing, Okay, yeah, take a break, make sure you, you get to talk to a scholar and find out where that's coming from, why you're only focusing in on those verses, or why something in the Qur'an is really uh, hurting you. You might find that it's something in the translation, or you might find that it's something that you, uh, you weren't really uh, paying attention to, like when these verses are mentioned, so are these verses, and, and it's a very balanced book. But this young man, he was reading the Qur'an, and he was practicing Islam, and he had this, um, this idea, it all started with an idea, to test a tradition, the tradition of the black seed. Now, the black seed has this amazing hadith surrounding it, where the Prophet of Allah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that this black seed can cure anything except for death. It can cure anything, right? Now, I'm sure there's a lot of doctors out there that are like, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, you need your Tylenol, you need your, your Advil, you need your, I don't know what else, you know, all, the, all these medicines that are out there, and those medicines are good. Those medicines are good. But that's such a, that's such a over-the-top statement, you know. It can cure anything but death. Come on. You know, maybe that's just like, uh, in general, it's good for you, or, or, or that uh, in addition to faith, because Allah can cure anything, and it's really Allah who's curing it. You know, there, there might be some excuses. But this young man, he put it to the test. And he, um, you know, he was just a, a young man in high school, and he did this, this science project that it, in, in our area, 
it was we were announcing it in the in the masjid we were emailing it out to the community because he was able to show that that black seed had some real effect on cancer cells and when i heard about it i was like are you kidding what he really tested that he really he really did a, a, a science project on that. He was really working with real scientists to do that. How come the world doesn't know about this? How come everybody doesn't know about this? And I wanted you to know about this. And that's why I brought him on the show, because I wanted you to hear it, and I wanted you to think about it. And I'm hoping that there's some young person out there who's either in high school, maybe even middle school, maybe even elementary school, because I remember when my sons were in the sixth grade and the fifth grade, they were intelligent young, young people, right? They have ideas. They have... They have, um, uh, uh, um, you know, the, the power to think and to be creative. In fact, oftentimes you're more creative at the age of 11 and 12 than you are at 25 and 26. Your mind is like so creative and you're thinking way outside the box. When you get older, people kind of tell you, no, that's not realistic. You got to don't talk like that. Don't act like that. But those young brains, man, they are creative. They're thinking like, oh, we could do anything. We could do anything. And I'm hoping one of those young brains, one of those young minds is watching this show today because you're about to meet a young man who, you know, he's kind of laid back. You know, if you saw him walking down the street, you wouldn't think that he, he did something like this. But you're going to hear his story. You're going to hear how he did it. You're going to hear the challenges that he had to overcome. And I'm hoping that through this story that you will see that it is very possible for you to do the same thing. That you can, whether you're a sister, whether you're a brother, whether you're uh, um, uh, a regular at the masjid or whether you, you, know, you, don't, you don't come that much, you have the ability to really engage the Qur'an and find things in it that can be uh, solving the, 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 the problems of humanity. Don't forget where algebra came from, right? Don't forget where algorithms came from. Don't forget you know, where all these uh, major inventions that revolutionized the world as we know it came from Muslims engaging the text. Some say that the, the whole system of algebra came from the scholars trying to come up with an easy formula to deal with inheritance. Because in the Quran it says, you know, uh, if, if this person gets a sixth of that, and if they're married, they get a fifth of that. And then if this happens, it, you know, twice that or three times. And it was like, there's all this stuff mentioned in the Quran. And so as people are coming up trying to figure out how much money they get in inheritance, the scholars are like, oh, man, I, I would do that according to the Quran. So then they started coming up, well, okay, well, 3x over 1, right? And they came up with this system of algebra by a brother named Al-Jabr, right? Where did it come from? It came from people engaging this dean and coming up with real practical things to solve the ills and the challenges of society. That is your role. That is our role. If we're going to be here in America, and some of you might be listening from, from a different country, but I'm talking to my American brothers and sisters. If you are going to be in this country, if you are here, if, you, if you're renting an apartment, if you're buying a house, if you're going to college, if you're going to school, if you got a job in this country, we're not supposed to be just living here. As Muslims, we just don't live here. No, we're supposed to find out how we can make this country better. How can we make this country better? That means how can we help the, the, the president and the Congress and the Senate make sure that these are honest people, make sure that these are uh, uh, upstanding individuals that don't lie, that, that want to do justice in America and in the world, right? So that's our role. We have to make sure that we have honest people in government. We have to make sure that our military is, is honest, is fair, is not you know, doing any uh, war crimes. That's our job. We have to make sure that that exists. We have to make sure that the, the, the schools are good. We have to make sure that the health care system is good. We have to make sure that the, uh, the social justice system is good. That's our role. As Muslims in America, we're supposed to make this place better. Everything from the streets to the food to the, to the, uh, to the politics. That is how I envision the Muslim role in America so that when Muslims show up, people go, oh, well, maybe they wouldn't say alhamdulillah, but they say hallelujah. Thank God the Muslims are here. Now we're going to have this. Now this is going to get better. We know these are some honest people. These are some hardworking people, right? That's the reputation that we want. And all this, I'm saying all of this so that you can uh, listen to this story that's coming in the next segment and be inspired to be that. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can uh, represent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You can be an ambassador to Islam by your ethics, by your morals, by your patience, by your uh, uh, 
tenacity, you know, you're, you're, you're just um, keep going, you won't give up. These are, these are practices. These are, these, are, um, edit, these are the characteristics of our prophet. And I want you guys to have that. I want me to have that. And I hope that you learn some of those characteristics when we interview our next guest. His name is Shadman Hossein. Uh, he's just an amazing individual. Don't go anywhere. I think you're going to like this segment. Very interesting with Think About It. I'm your host, Joshua Salam. I will be right back. Thanks to PennyAppealUSA.org. You're going to love this show. You're going to love it. It's going to be the best show. Salam alaikum. Water is an important part of life, and the difference between clean and dirty water is the difference between life and death. We know that the issue is not that there's a lack of clean water, but a lack of access to it. So we're on a mission to change that. Through Thirst Relief, we're building wells across Africa and Asia to provide millions with access to clean, safe, consumable water. The goal is simple, to provide clean water to every person who needs it to irrigate gardens like these, horticultural gardens, in Gambia. To make sure that no person ever has to drink dirty water ever again. So join us. Visit pennypeelusa.org slash thirstrelief and donate today. Thank you. Peace be unto you, O oh, sisters and brothers of America and the world. You have tuned in once again to Think About It with Joshua Salam. I'm your host, but I didn't come alone today. I brought one of the, the special guests that I have in this community, Brother Shadman Hussein. I mean, I think his name is a little bit longer. What's your full name? Put it here, put it here. What's your Salman. full name? Tell, tell the world your full name. Uh, Sayyid Shadman Hussein. Sayyid Shadman Hussein. But you, we all know you by Shadman. Yep. Right? Yeah. And, and there's some intersection going on here because Shadman was all, that's not why he's being interviewed today, but he was also a, or is or was a student of Silat, the martial arts, uh, 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 Indonesian martial arts? Yeah, I think uh, my Silat journey sort of stopped uh, before I left for college. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But you could, you could probably still defend yourself if you had to. Huh? Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, Abdul Malik, who, who, who was on the show, I think he was my second guest. Uh, Shadman was a student of his. And Sakina, who was a guest on the show, uh, was, a, I guess, a, a classmate of yours for a while, mm -hmm. right? But you're significantly older than her. So man, you know, you, the reason why I, I really uh, wanted to talk to you is because you are a modern day uh, um, story of somebody who really engaged, who blended their faith and their trust in Allah and this deen with modern day knowledge and science. And, and I say that because of what I knew, I mean, I'm allow you to tell your story, but what I heard about your research story, the Black Seed Project, right? Mm -hmm. Does it have an official title? What's, it, what's the official mm -hmm. title of the paper? Some scientific name. Tell us the scientific name. Oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> it's, uh... it'll, it'll come to you, don't yeah, worry. It's, but it's, 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 it's a, a long, it starts with the chemical compound name. It's like the effect of thymoquinone on four cancer cell lines and two bacterial uh, strains. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was yeah. thinking it was something like that. But I remember you told me something like, you know, you tried it out and it wasn't working. You know, and this black seed, you know, we've all been raised like black seed cures everything but death. But you put it to the test. Mm -hmm. So tell me about like, how did you initially get the idea to think of that project? Yeah, um, I think the idea came from many different experiences, one of them being my mom who would always tell me about how the black seed, you know, will cure everything. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really taste that great. You know, <laughs> trying to just There's consume. no cherry flavored black yeah. seed, right? So, you know, in high school, I was, I thought, uh, you know, I have the opportunity to sort of work in a lab, use some tools that I don't get to use on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. and this is something I've always been curious about. Mm -hmm. You know, how does this seed cure everything? Mm -hmm. How is it so beneficial? Mm -hmm. And 
Now, is this something that you guys took in the household? Like, not only yep. was your mother preaching it, but you guys were taking black seed? Yeah, we okay. were uh, with honey. Put Man. it in your hand, put some black seed, some honey, and then just, you know, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> black seed and honey. Now, now you, you breezed over something. You said you were in high school and you had an opportunity to be in a lab, did you mm -hmm. say, with tools? But what exactly happened? What opportunity did you get? Um, I had an opportunity to work at uh, the National Institutes of Health. They mm -hmm. have labs that sort of let you work with different um, cells and different types of bacteria that a normal high school won't let you. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky to sort of test out this project in that setting. But how did you look? I mean, did it just some random no. scientist come through and say, you? You have reached the final level. Come with me. Like, how did you, did you test into it? Did you pass some, did you, no, did you win the lottery? What, how did it, it work? It was, uh, I think, so that, that, that step came after the idea phase. Uh, so I had this idea that I really wanted to test and didn't have the tool and the setting uh, at Herndon High School where uh -huh. I went to school. Herndon, Herndon High. For those who don't know, Herndon High School, Herndon, uh, Virginia. Yep. And so I started just mass emailing people who used to work in labs, mm -hmm. just asking, hey, I have this idea of testing out this um, compound on you know, bacteria and other mm -hmm. types of you know, organisms or different types of cells, healthy, unhealthy, mm -hmm. and see if something can come out of it. Sent over 200 emails to different labs at Georgetown, NIH, George Mason local labs, and one person, it you know was had some funding. And one, we one out of two hundred. Yeah, yep. That that says something. Now you're just a high school, so were you a sophomore, or junior? What, what uh, grade were you? Junior. This yeah. is a junior in high school sending out two hundred emails to universities, institutions, people that he knew that were working at labs with an idea, and the idea was that. If my mama was right, <laughs> and if the prophet was right, if this thing cures anything, how does this really work with a, on a cell? I want to test it out. Mm -hmm. So you, would you have some proposal, or were you just always like retelling the same thing verbally? Yeah, I had a proposal written out, mm -hmm. a very brief proposal. How brief? And, you know, a page. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, as a high schooler, um, I didn't, my scientific knowledge base wasn't that strong. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I I wrote words and terms I knew and how I did the the ideas would connect through those elementary words mm -hmm. and biology that I knew, and wrote it on a piece of paper and just sent that out. Okay, so one person replies. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Next, uh, I work in the lab for a couple months doing this uh, experiment. Mm -hmm. um, going back and forth to Bethesda, Maryland, mm -hmm. uh, every day after school. And then I finished the project and then presented to the science fair. Well, hold on, so, man. What, what happened? What was the experiment? What did you do? So the experiment was testing how the main chemical compound in the black seeds, uh -huh. which is called thymoquinone, uh -huh. testing that on four types of cancer cell lines. Okay. So. Uh, I tested it on skin cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and pancreatic cancer cell okay. cells. And these cells were from real cancer patients that were preserved and grown for scientific research purposes. Um, and I also wanted to test the efficacy of this compound on bacteria to okay. see um, if it would work or not. Because, you know, bacteria cause a lot of different infections, mm -hmm. cause people to become sick, and cancer obviously is, is something that makes a lot of people sick. And Now I'm telling you, man, you're, you're cool, calm, and collective right now. You're just like, you're just the, the, the cool scientist, and then, you know what I did. <laughs> but there's a lot of people out there that are on the edge of the sea, it's like, and then what? What does the black sea do? You know, I, I can't wait to tell me what, that, what happens. So you tried it out <laughs> okay. on four, four Cancer cells, mm -hmm. colon cancer, lung cancer, skin cancer, mm -hmm. and? Um, pancreatic cancer. And pancreatic cancer. cancer. Yeah. And you tested it out on bacteria. Mm -hmm. What's next? So at first, um, I saw that small concentrations of this compound was promoting cancer cells to grow mm -hmm. a lot, which was kind of 
uh, you know, disheartening to see. And now, for um, those who don't know, <clears throat> I, I can imagine the scene like you have all these <laughs> scientists in the lab who've been working on cancer for years, and then they get this young hotshot, this junior from high school in here, like you know, uh, testing out uh, 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 the effect of cancer with a black seed that his mother gave him. And they're probably looking at him like, this guy, why did we let him in this lab? And then he tries it out and it has a bad effect. It actually makes the cancer grow initially, mm -hmm. okay? Initially it made it grow, but then um, I thought that... Why didn't you give up at that moment? Like, man, this, I guess I was wrong. Because we, we tested, you know, um, a small concentration mm -hmm. just in uh, proportion to the small amount of cells that we were testing it mm -hmm. on. But then after that sort of tr trial passed, mm -hmm. um, we were curious if actual like human consumption concentrations would work. Mm -hmm. And that's when we saw like the growth curve of these cells just significantly decrease. Wow. And that was the uh, the the exciting part of the project w was everybody in the lab excited like the the, the p pins drop and people huddle up around you like what what is going on here yeah there everyone was uh, really excited to see that like a uh, young scientist's hypothesis was kind of true right right but I don't think ever anyone was like okay this guy just cured the <laughs> <laughs> why not why not because I think. Um, <laughs> there's there's so many compounds out there that can um, reduce cancer cells in an mm -hmm. in vitro, which is like the lab setting, mm -hmm. uh, to really be able to um, come out and say that this works as treating cancer. There's just so much more that needs to be done, mm -hmm. uh, such as clinical trials, mm -hmm. testing it in mice, um, mm -hmm. but. But isn't somebody from that lab, like, took the mantle and they're now the Black Sea scientists of the NIH or something? Or is, it, or is your work just sitting there, like, waiting for? I th I, I, I'm not sure if someone's doing live trials, like, on humans and uh -huh. stuff like that. But um, I think it sort of is, is still a heavily researched topic. Mm. Um, even... Even like this research that I did in high school, it was used in nine different publications, mm -hmm. even very recently. So people are still investigating what's going on with this mm -hmm. compound mm -hmm. today. Yeah, for the for those who don't know, he won, Shadman won first place. Your 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 project, the scientific experiment, mm -hmm. won first place in Fairfax County, correct? Mm -hmm. And and Fairfax County has maybe like. I don't know, 50,000 students or something like that. I don't know how many. There's a lot of students. So that's, that said a lot. And then he put it in the Muslim competition of MIST, Muslim Interscholastic Tournament, and he won first place in that competition. And the judges from that competition said that the way that he did his research and everything, it was like Ph.D. level work. And here was a, a junior in, 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 in uh, high school doing Ph.D. level research work. Did you hear any feedback like that about your project? Or am I just, um, this is the first time you're hearing it? I don't think the judges told me the answers. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely heard that. Maybe it's because I was on, uh, an organizer, and I got to hear. But this was like cool stuff. But I'm just, I'm just surprised that you're, you're not like. <laughs> I feel like you, you found like uh, you uncovered the gold or something, and you're just like, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> um, you know. So I've moved on in my life. <laughs> I'm like, why, why isn't everybody so excited? How come this wasn't on CNN? Because it's happened before is what you're saying. So many people in the lab have found stuff that can affect cancer in, in a positive way and reduce cancer, but that's just like phase 0 0.1. You got so much more research to yeah. do before you can really say this is doing something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, no, no plans to, to pick it back up and, and, and you've moved on like... You're not going to be a scientist. You you're doing business now, or what are you doing now? Uh, consulting. Okay. Yeah. And and you you went on to college to get what type of degree? Uh, biomedical engineering. So you did get biomedical engineering. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so after, uh, where do you see yourself in in five years or seven years or ten years? Where do I see myself? 
That's a tough. Do you see question. yourself in a lab or no? No, I don't think the labs for me. Okay. Um, because. Because I think it takes a lot of patience to just sit there by yourself, you know, doing your experiments and then waiting weeks and to see a, like some sort of result and then. You know, de sometimes you might not see the results you want to see, and mm -hmm. if you, when you dedicate your life to sort of doing that, and then sometimes you won't see the results that you want to see in, in your work. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, I think, per dependent on the type of person you are, and mm -hmm. for I personally enjoy working on more, you know. Collaborative projects yeah. on different types of business issues, and then working on them, and then being able to see sort of the results. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think research was the way to, for me to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Plus, it, it also meant years and years of schooling. Ah. And you wanted to get out there in the workforce. I did not, I did not want to go to school for another, <laughs> at least not yet. Right. Right. Maybe, maybe in the future. In sure. the future. Okay. All right, so so you don't see yourself in the lab, but you 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 uh, you feel like you're using your degree in the way that you wanted to and things like that. Yeah, I think so because what I learned the, the most important thing I learned with my degree was being able to think in a certain way, mm. and I get to use that on a da daily basis at work. What, what kind of way of thinking is it? So it's very analytical. It's like looking at a problem, breaking it down into multiple pieces and then mm -hmm. finding where the problem is and then mm -hmm. tackling it there first. So I do I do healthcare consulting, uh, both technically like qualitative, quantitative analysis. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to use different types of techniques to look at a problem, break it down, analyze mm -hmm. it. You're having fun. Yeah. I can I can feel it. I can feel the fun just coming up. I like it so far. <laughs> Now, where is your work? So, so you said it's been uh, uh, released in a couple of uh, 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 several publications between then and now. You said it even happened recently. So, if, if somebody's like listening to the show and they're like, mm -hmm. "Man, this is this is awesome! I want to learn more about this." Where can they find your work and, and read about it? Um, it's published on the Journal of uh, Secondary Science. Okay. And if you Google. Um, thymoquinone on cancer cell lines, it should show up. You, you might want to say that again for the, this is your camera right oh, there. Okay. Tell the world, Google what? If you Google uh, thymoquinone, which is T-H-Y-M-O-Q-U-I-N-O-N-E on cancer cell lines, it should show up as the show first up. result. Do they need to add your name, anything like Shadman Hussein? Yeah, it has my name on it. Okay, yeah. and how do you spell your last name? H-O-S-S-A-I-N. H-O-S-S-A-I-N. So I, do you feel like, this is what I feel, I just want to know what you feel, that there's a lot of young people who uh, maybe have the skill set, they have the intellect, but they just didn't think about it. They didn't think about emailing 200 uh, you know, organizations and engineers for an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And maybe after they emailed or wrote the first 100, they didn't get a response, so they quit. You emailed another 100. And maybe somebody else is going to have to email 200 more just mm -hmm. to get that one opportunity to get access to the tools and the resources and the lab to, to do stuff. Or maybe some people it's a law firm. Maybe somebody else it's you know right. something else. And, and you just had this idea as a, as a young man, a young high school student, and you tried it out and, and it worked. And I, I, think, I think that's inspiring. Have you, um, do you see your story or do you hope that your story will inspire the next generation to try some other things or maybe to continue your work? Yeah. I think um, even outside the realm of just science, mm -hmm. there's a, I hope that people can extract the idea of um, pursuing something with um, dedication. Mm -hmm. Being persistent always helps in mm -hmm. whatever you're trying to do. Right. Um, so I think w with that in mind, people can sort of tackle whatever they're trying to do more confidently, knowing that if I work hard towards it and just keep trying, mm -hmm. it, you know, some things sometime might come out. Of That's a theme. <clears throat> right. That's a theme in the Quran, actually. I want to, mm -hmm. so, you know, we can connect those two. 
Because in the Quran, it encourages, Allah encourages humanity to patiently persevere. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, that's the translation of sabr. So some scholars would say sabr is not just patience, but it's patience as you keep going, as you mm -hmm. keep moving forward. It has some type of like movement connected to it. So okay. I think your story is kind of a, a, a piece of that because um, you tried something and it initially didn't work and somebody could have gave up, but you were patient with it, but you kept trying. You kept on trying a different way. You tweaked it a little bit longer. You, you reflected, you pondered. This, this show is called Think About It, right? So it didn't work and you were like, why didn't it work? Because it's supposed to work. Uh, Allah, Allah and my mother said that this is supposed to cure everything. So mm -hmm. I tried it and it didn't work, why? And do you feel like there was a certain level of trust in, the, in your teachings as a Muslim that pushed you forward? Or, yeah. just, or just scientific principles? No, I think, um, I wouldn't, I mean, I think it's hard to pinpoint how I was driven as a high school student, but mm -hmm. I, I, I know that a lot of that drive came from n knowing the religious value that this idea had, mm -hmm. and I think that helped me sort of mm -hmm. be persistent with it. Alhamdulillah. Well, we are, we are happy that you did. And I hope that this story uh, encourages the next generation or even people older than Shadran to, you know, just try to send a bunch of emails, get an opportunity, and Allah will guide you. And you never know, he was able to prove that black seed did have a, uh, a positive effect on cancerous cells and his research is out there. I want to thank you for coming, but don't go nowhere. Okay. And you guys don't go nowhere. We have another segment with Shotman as he tries to beat me at my own game. Assalamu alaikum. You have been watching Think About It with Joshua Salam, brought to you by PennyAppealUSA.org. We'll be right back. Since August 25th of this year, over 600,000 individuals have fled from Myanmar into bordering Bangladesh. They've witnessed crimes against humanity. The United Nations calls what happened in Myanmar textbook definition of genocide, textbook definition of ethnic cleansing. We've been here for the last few months, providing them with access to clean drinking water, providing them with access to primary healthcare services, helping them build their shelters, as well as giving them weekly food distribution. We can't fathom what they've witnessed. The ones that have arrived into Bangladesh are the lucky ones. They're now residing in between the 22 to 25 official refugee camps that have now been established. With your continued support, we want to secure their future. We want to stay for the foreseeable future so that we can dig more water wells, so that we can provide them with more medication and more medical advice, so that we can help build more shelters, especially with the winter coming and the cold setting in. Please visit our website to find out more about our work and to support us with your generous donations. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for coming back to the inspiring story of Shadman Hussein. You are listening to Think About It with Joshua Salam. I'm your host. And if you missed the last segment, we were talking about the, the amazing scientific project that Shadman did. How many years ago now? About six. Six years ago. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And it's still out there. People are still writing about it. People are still publishing it. And this is the man right here, the cool, the calm, the collective Shadman Hussein, you know. Uh, you know, I, I would have been jumping around, man, if, I, if that had happened. I would be like, that's what I'm talking about, y'all scientists. Y'all need to take Shahada right now. Look at this black seed. And you were just like, next there will be mice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. All right, so do you know the game? Um, maybe you say you, you saw an episode, but I, I'll try to get you to say one of my words by giving you a clue, and you try to 
and the first one to get the other one to say their words wins. Now, Imam Majid didn't like the game. He felt, uh, he, he said, he, he made a comment uh, like, um, he said, uh, every time I get an answer correct, I'm losing. You know, so that's, that's one way to look at it. But I, <laughs> I ask you not to think of the game that way. You know, oh, just okay. think of it as we're all just, winners. You're just playing. You're just playing, especially yep. if I win. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. Now, I know you're going to get all these because you're such a, 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 a scientist, man. You're mm -hmm. such an intelligent young man. Hancock. Movement. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they want me to push these buttons, so your turn. Okay. Fork. Utensil. Do I press the button too? Uh, did I, well, did I no, get it right? that's not right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll press it, make it easy. All right. Um, John. What was the first clue my, that I gave you? No, I, I gave you my word. It was Hancock. Okay. Now, I'm giving you another clue for the same word. Okay. John. I don't know these references. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, all right, I'll come a different route superhero. then. Superhero. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you thinking of Will Smith? <laughs> all right, man. You get a couple for that. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, your turn. Rain. Okay, this is still the first word. Oh, this is not the first word. No, you oh. did I guess the first word? You couldn't guess the first word. So you got to keep going on the okay. first word. So what was the first clue on that word? Fork. Fork, and mm -hmm. I said utensil. Okay, what's yeah. your next clue? Um, soup. Fork and soup. I am not one to eat soup with a fork, so we're going to say spoon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, what happened? My thing went, uh, uh, ding, 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 ding. Technical difficulties. All right. Um, so it's, uh, you're winning. One to nothing. I'm winning? Yeah, oh. beca because you got me to guess uh, spoon. And I'm still on this word here. All right. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's see, we'll magically get that fixed. Um, Hancock, John. Let's say, um, uh, uh, just uh, we're, we're done with that for that. Don't don't bring it back. I'm, I'm I gotta focus. I gotta get in my groove. Um, autograph. Celebrity. <laughs> no no no. Okay. Uh, your turn. What? Okay. Who is? <laughs> so we're on the second word. Okay. Rain. Okay, rain. <sighs> Clouds? Mm -mm. Okay. Fine. I see. I see what's going on backstage now. I see how it is. All right. I'm still on this first word. He didn't get Hancock. He didn't get John. He didn't get a, a, a was autograph. Mm -hmm. Man, that now that that was my strongest clue, by the way. Autograph is my strongest clue thus okay. far. All right. So now I'm gonna say um, uh, check. Check. If you don't get it this time, I think my next word will get you to get it. Inshallah. Okay. Check. Uh, set. No. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay. Frozen. Okay, we're still on the rain one? Yeah. 
Okay, so it was rain, and this is the second clue, frozen? Mm -hmm. Rain, frozen. Ice. No. Okay, but I'm getting close. Yes. I can tell by, your, yep. by the shaking of your head. All right, here you go. This is the word. Cursive. Okay, think about all my, my clues. Actually, the first two didn't mean anything to you, so we're just going to forget those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> forget the first two. We'll start with uh, autograph, mm -hmm. then check, cursive. Handwriting. Ooh. Mm. No? Uh, but you get there. Uh, you get there. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Rain, frozen. Mm -hmm. um, Mary. Hail. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's two words for you. Yep. It's two to nothing. Goodness gracious. Whose name is on the show? Joshua Sedan. How come I can't win a game? All right. Um, autograph. Check. Um, uh, cursive. Um, uh, you said handwriting. Um, um, pen. Check, autograph, handwriting. No. <laughs> the next one, next one's it. I got it on the next one. I'm getting uh, off this word. Bad, I can I'm feel terrible. it. All right, you're on Sorry. word three now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Um, own. Own. Purchase. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. We got pen. Ink. You said pen. Sorry. Yeah. Autograph. Autograph. Check. Check. Cursive. Cursive. And pen. And pen. Okay. Name. This is it, brother. I can feel it. Ugh. Name. Autograph. Come on. Cheer them on, studio audience. Autograph. Cheer them on. Name. Check. Okay. Forget, forget check. Okay. Autograph, cursive, mm -hmm. name. Writing? No! no! <laughs> 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 I can't get any better than that. Y'all know those are good clues. You know those are good clues. All right, I'm still stuck on my first word. All right, your turn. Okay. You're on, you're on uh, uh, word what? Three. Three. Okay, I thought you were on four. Okay. Um, what was the first clue? Oh, own. Own. Okay. Listen, give me another one. Uh, appreciation. I already said purchase. So I'm going to say it's home or house. Oh, I mean. Really? <laughs> appreciation. Own? Appreciation. Car is depreciated. Anyway, um, mm. uh, uh, Am I gonna get autograph. This? Okay. Cursive. Mm -hmm. Type of handwriting. N name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 Let me give you another one. And I, and pen. I said okay, pen. pen. Um, uh, authenticate. Signature. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Man, alhamdulillah. Oh, man. All right, it's comeback. It is a comeback. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Own, mm -hmm. uh, appreciate. Mm -hmm. Were those the only two you gave me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, third one is land. Property. Yep. All right. All right. 
Ähm, äh, okay. Super. Extraordinary. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay. You're on word four now. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm, gonna come, I'm coming back. Corporate. Business. Okay. Um, my first clue was um, super. Super. Mm -hmm. Hero. You're not allowed to use the words in the word, right? Right. Okay. Uh, superhero. Firefighter. But that's good <laughs> that firefighters are your heroes. I'm, I'm, that's very good. No, no. Okay. Um, your turn. All right. So uh, my clue was corporate. Okay. Uh, the next clue is advance. Corporate advance, advance with no D, just advance. Advance. Corporate advance. Uh, uh, promotion. Yep. Ah, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, hey, you you you're good at this, and I am not. Okay, I said super. Mm -hmm. I said hero. Mm -hmm. Let's say strength. Fighter. Are you listening to my words? The, 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 <laughs> the super, the hero. The All right, no problem. Your turn. Okay. Uh, are you on your fourth word or your last word? Last one. What was the one before it? Your fourth one? Promotion. Promotion. Man. All right. Come on. Let's All go. Right. Microsoft. Apple. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, right. So. Um, super. Super. Hero. Hero. Strength. Strength. Um, speed. Who has that? Superhero strength and speed. Uh. Wow. I need to go a different route with this. Okay. Superhero strength and speed. Um, what you got? What you got? Spider Man. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Very good. Uh, uh, your your last word. Okay. What was the first clue? Microsoft. Okay. Typing. Laptop? No. Uh, um, mighty. Wrestler. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Okay, oh, you man. win. You oh, win. You man. got the most most points out of the game. What was your last word? Document. Document. Okay, I wasn't going to get that one anytime yeah. soon. My word was power. Oh. I was trying to get you to say power. Mm. So I had some other words here that I never got to. Well, thanks for beating me up on my own show, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey, again, check out his research. He said you can Google the, the key ingredient in Black Sea, which was? Uh, thymoquinone. Thymoquinone. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a date you said to add? 2000? Um, uh, thymoquinone on cancer cells. On cancer yeah, cells. That should do it. Maybe even add Shadman Hussein 
and you will see this work. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for playing with me, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Don't go nowhere. Come back again tomorrow. Inshallah, we'll see you with Think About It with Joshua Salam. Thank you to our sponsors, PennyAppealUSA.org, where they're doing a little bit with a lot. Or they're doing a lot with a little bit. With your pennies, they're helping millions of people around the world. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Penny Appeal USA. Small change, big difference. And by Recycle Processes Incorporated.